hello viewers welcome to our channel kindly i request you to subscribe to my channel now in this lesson i want us to discuss uh, form 3 biology our topic is classification 2 uh, this is lesson 4 objectives of this lesson number one we'll be talking about kingdom protectista and the kingdom protectista will be talking about the examples characteristics and uh, then economic importance of kingdom protectista Number two, we'll be talking about kingdom planta, and the kingdom planta will be talking about uh, characteristics and division of kingdom planta. Now, to begin with, kingdom pra kingdom protectista examples include uh, protozoa, e.g., we have amoeba, uh, paramecium, we have trypanosoma, we have alga, e.g., spirogyra, euglena, and chlamydomonas. We have general characteristics of uh, Kingdom Protectista. Number one, they are eukaryotes. Eukaryotes means that their nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear membrane. Opposite of eukaryote is a prokaryote, meaning prokaryote, they lack the nuclear membrane. Number two, they are either unicellular, it means they are single cell organism, or some are multicellular, they have millions or many cells, e.g. we have Spirochira. Number three, they reproduce asexually, that is maybe by means of uh, bedding, uh, fragmentation, sporulation, or by binary fission. So we have uh, types or we have uh, modes of uh, asexual reproduction, we have binary fission, we have fragmentation, or sporulation. Then uh, characteristic number four is they are heterotrophic, meaning they feed on an already uh, manufactured uh, complex food substances, e.g. protozoa. Some are autotrophic, meaning they are able to uh, make their own uh, complex food substances, e.g. algae. Number five, most of the protozoa and unicellular algae are mobile. Mobile means they are able to locomote, and therefore they use these locomotory structures called uh, acidobodia. Some they use cilia or phalagella. So these are locomotory structures. You have pseudobodia, cilia, or phalagella. While multicellular algae, they are sessile, meaning they are immobile. They are not able to move. Now, characteristic number six, they have a contractile uh, vacuole. Uh, this is uh, for osmoregulation. That is, they are able to regulate uh, the water content in their body. We have e.g. amoeba is a good example that has a contractile uh, vacuole. You need to know types of vacuoles. Other than contractile vacuole, we also have food vacuole, okay? Now, next, you have economic importance of uh, Kingdom Protectista. When you are talking about economic importance, you are you, you must be able to discuss uh, both the positive and uh, negative. Number one, you have food production. Certain types of algae, like the seaweeds, are consumed directly by humans and are also used as a source of, as a source of food additives. Number two, they uh, transmit diseases in humans animals and plants. A good example is malaria is caused by a plasmodium a parasite. We also have African uh, sleeping sickness which is caused by trypanosoma uh, parasites. Now this is the structure of uh, amoeba. You see you have the cell membrane, you have the ectoplasm and endoplasm. Both combined they are called uh, cytoplasm. You have the nucleus as you can see. Here we have the food vacuole. Right? We also have the contractile vacuole. You have the granules, and then you have the pseudopodium, whereby you say this is uh, the locomotory uh, structure. Now, next you have kingdom planta. Uh, general characteristics: number one, they are multicellular organisms. They have uh, uh, eukaryotic cells. Uh, the plant body is differ differentiated into leaves, comma stems, and uh, roots or uh, root uh, hair, root hairs. They are autotrophic, meaning they are able to make their own food, and this is because they contain uh, chlorophyll, which is the photosynthetic uh, pigment. Number five, their cells have a uh, cellulose cell wall, which gives them the definite uh, shape. Uh, kingdom plantae, they reproduce both uh, sexually and asexually. Now, we have plant divisions, and the kingdom plantae, we mainly have uh, three divisions. We have division uh, priophyta. We have pteridophyta and we have spermatophyta. Check the spelling. Pteridophyta, the P is silent. 
Now, to begin it, a prior fight, it consists of a smallest form of plants which are tiny, they are very tiny, and they are green in color. So that is the keyword. They are tiny and they are green in color. They also grow on damp uh, surface of walls and on the back of trees. That means the wet surface of the walls, those walls which are wet, and the rocks also. That's where now the prior fighter are found. A good example, you have the mosses and you have the liver warts. Now this is the structure of uh, a moss plant. So you have the cup of capsule, you have the spore capsule, you have the stalk there. All these, they are the sparophyte. Then you have the gametophyte, you have the leaves, you can see, you have the stem, and then you have the rhizoids. This is now the structure of a liverwort. You have the capsule, you have the setter, so that's now the sporophyte. You see here we have the agigonia, which produces the female gamete. Here we have andridia, which produces the male gamete. And then here we have the rhizoids. This structure is called dallas. That is the end of our lesson. Kindly uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.